Okay, yes, Reverend Ian, thanks for coming again. Roger Moore, 007. Um, and myself, um, another decipher. Um, as you know, we're always trying to discuss a topic, um, ones that are interesting, ones that are being dealt with currently. This one, we're looking at the issue of practicing homosexuality or being gay. Um, for me, it's, it's a topic that I've come across a lot more now. Well, we see it in the media anyway, with this whole thing about gay marriage and the legalisation of it and if it should go through law and how the church has reacted to it. Um, my main concern though, and the thing I want us to kind of discuss as we speak here, is more about how we engage the topic. Because for me, not so much the issue about whether it's right or wrong or um, what God's going to do about the whole situation, but I'd rather discuss it from a standpoint of how do we engage with the conversation because as Christians, we find it hard to discuss it within our own groups. That's what I've realised. I think we find it very hard to discuss the whole issue of sexuality and God's gift yeah. of sexuality. I think we'll be looking at in our journey together. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you actually. Just sex in general makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Yeah. And if you're talking about gay sex and you're talking about, you know, that's just like a no-go for a lot of people. Um, so I'm hoping to pull out of this, especially for those who are watching and other Christians who need help with it, is the whole thing about how do we engage with the conversation? Not necessarily the homosexual, but how do we as Christians get to start talking mm. about these things? I think the Bible's quite clear, me personally, on what it says about homosexual behaviour and being gay. Um, I know people argue that's not what the Bible means, but I'm going to read out something which I think is quite clear on what it's saying about homosexuality. And I'm going to be reading it from Romans. So if you're watching or you're listening, this is Romans 1, 22 to 28. It says, Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Therefore God gave them up in the lusts of their hearts to impurity to the dishonouring of their bodies among themselves because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason God gave them up to their dishonourable passions for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature and the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. I think that's quite clear. But, you know, we're not here to unpack what the verses are saying there. For me, personally, homosexuality, being gay, it doesn't fit in terms of my thinking and my beliefs and my being a Christian yeah. but let's get into that conversation I know you want to share I know you want to say things and I don't even know if I'm being clear on how I'm coming across because it's a sensitive topic but I really want us to get into this um, and discuss the topic so is there anything that you guys want to throw in there or want to say before moving to just the whole thing about me yeah, it's like, you know it's a big thing yeah. right about now everyone's thinking can you be gay can you be Christian you know, the whole nature, nurture argument, which we might pull out later. But I mean, it, just how do we have the conversations? Let's start with that. How do you have the conversations as a Christian? Well, I think the conversation has to be, it's a given, because let's face it, um, we have gay people not only in our congregations, but in our families, in our workplaces, and uh, you, you cannot stereotype anybody in the same way we cannot be stereotyped as well. So this is something we've got to we, we've got to recognize it is an issue yeah. but I would, I would also want to put it as far as the church is concerned as we as Christians are concerned is how we've looked at the whole issue of human sexuality and in particular and this is where we come but we'll, we'll be looking at it later on about n nature and nurture mm -hmm. but as God intended it as, as a sacred gift that that, that we've all been given and yeah. how we appropriate that yeah. So that that for me is going to be something that we you know hope we're in our in our discussions, and I hope people will be watching want to enter into. I hear that because we have to, the nature nurture argument is and discussion is one that we need to get into. But if I could take you back, you said something about stereotypes. Yeah. Can we just explore what some of the stereotypes are oh, and well. how valid they are? Oh, well. <laughs> stereotypes of oh you know 
that person's gay. How do you know they're gay? I can tell. How can you tell? And then you go down that whole list. Yes. What are those things that people point out to say, I can tell when somebody's gay? I think, um, for me, it's, uh, it's quite interesting because, you know, everyone have, has this thing called um, a gaydar or whatever, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they can just work out who's, who's um, gay or not. And I think that that's kind of unfair. I think there's a, for me, sometimes a, a preconceived perception of what a homosexual is. Yeah, um, he's got a high voice. Um, that's why I'm talking very low. <laughs> <laughs> You're hiding it well. Yeah, I'm, it? Hide, I'm, I'm, I'm talking real low here. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm telling So low and uh, poker red night. <laughs> So yeah, good, we're family, we're family, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're natural, natural things. Um, you guys go red, everyone can see, <laughs> nobody can see it when I go red, so it's all right. Well, yeah, um, so you got that, you got um, even the mannerisms, you know, um, me yeah. personally, um, I think that, you know, I'm a, I'm a footballer, rugby player and whatever, they're still at yeah. school. So it's like, yeah, manly man, everyone expects them to be like, yeah, with the ladies on their arms. But, um, and the guys who do non-contact sports or, or um, not as, not as, um, Foggish or geeky, um, they, they, they point at them, which in the um, I suppose the commercial world, it, yeah, it fits the world, but it's not so as true as what we think it is. So, we don't expect the, the man's man nah, 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 to be the yeah, guy exactly, who is yeah, practicing yeah. homosexuality or gay, you're expecting obviously the opposite. Yeah. What a word I've heard, you know, is, is, is you just camp or, or yeah. you know, the person is kind of mm-hmm. effeminate. Mm-hmm. Um, and I pulled it out. I know we've got a lot to get into, but I pulled it out at this point because I've seen a program, I can't remember what the program was called, where they were interviewing two guys. Um, they're actually known as gangbangers, but it's back in, it's in America. And they were in a gang. To look at them, tattooed up, muscled to the, to the nines, you know, the way they were speaking, you would never think that they were sitting there saying, we're gay, but we can't. And, you know, I'm confessing in my own head then that I'm buying into stereotypes because I'm looking at them thinking, wait a minute. Gay, I never would have guessed. But I suppose it made clear to me that you just don't know. And as you were saying as well, that's probably one of the first things we could say in terms of engaging and having a conversation is they're not all the same. Mm. And it's dangerous to go down that road. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you agree, you know? Yes, and it also, when, when let's say, let's say recently, you know, football is coming out yeah. and, and, and rugby players. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and it's it, it, it's challenged their own, if you like, yeah, com- yeah, 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 community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are the terraces about yeah. what's what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, I've what I've come across in terms of stereotyping in, in in the church, particularly with young people, is some a young person who comes to Christ faith and makes a decision consciously. Yeah, they could be heterosexual. Yeah, that in, that they now start to see sex as a gift from God for marriage. And they get taunted because they, you know, they won't tend to enter a physical relationship with a girl or a girl with a boy. Um, and they get taunted about being gay because they won't have any sort of physical contact yeah. with the opposite yeah. sex. So that and that that's that's okay. Rough. So because they're keeping themselves, people think are you gay? Yeah. So they that's get gay. That's a little, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just because yeah. they're keeping themselves and yes. not. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. And it kind of puts the undue pressure on them as well, because they're thinking, especially if they're young and impressionable, mm. they might be starting to think, well, is there something wrong with me? Mm. They might not think I'm a gay, but they might be thinking, is there something wrong with me? Yeah. So yeah, that, that's a good point. Yes. In terms of stereotypes. I don't know if there's ever stereotypes, but I think what we made is clear is that you, you don't necessarily know. And this whole thing about having a gay dar, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, yeah. sounds funny, yeah. you know, tongue in cheek, but really, it's what I'm learning, you just don't know. It, it's really as much as we all do it. At end of the end of the day, for me, judge judging people is so natural. It's ridiculous. Unfortunately, yeah. everyone we walk past in the street, we judge Can them I, by the way. I must come back because yeah. this is. A, I, I, I must get out more. But I've not come across this term, gay dog. Gay dog. Oh, you know what? So, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a young thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's, 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 some people around me say they got they got a good. Um, I'm into metrosexual, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we're just able to uh, basically re- they reckon they could just look at someone and say, yeah, um, they they they, they, they can work it out. Yeah, have a conversation or the way the the mannerisms, the way they move, whatever they do, just think they're gay. How do you know? I just know. Yeah. And then they use the phrase to say. Yeah, it's, it's my gaydar, my gaydar's working. So it's yeah. almost a case of people think they can just tell who's gay, just, just like that. They can just 
see them as long as they are. But I suppose that we're, what we're saying here is actually no, you can't. No, no, no. And there's people who you you, you, you just wouldn't know. Mm. Really. But I think that's very something we have to make clear. Um, and something obviously we're going to unpack even more so. But yeah, this gay dar thing. It sounds cool, <laughs> isn't it? But, nah. We need to be a bit smarter and we're going to get shocked as we think we've already been shocked as you said about different rugby players, football players, people coming out within the church, you know, yeah. what's happening with different pastors, mega pastors, mm. things like that. So. And just on a closing point, do you think that sometimes people are judgmental, the gay doll, or ju- judgmental of somebody being gay, does it push them down that route as well? People, you know, people assume saying that, oh, he's just because of the way he is and it gets them to start questioning themselves. Yeah, I think that's what I was saying yeah, earlier. Yeah. They don't necessarily say, does that mean I'm gay? But they think, is something wrong with me? But then some yeah. people might think, well, maybe I, maybe, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe a seed is planted then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I suppose it'd be gone too far to say just because people have said oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it, yeah. it runs deeper than that. Cool. But your point is it's a good one. Mm-hmm.